In our latest research, we have looked at how the demand of food and drink products fluctuates with the changing price and consumer income. These are what we call in economic theory demand elasticities. Demand elasticities are important to understand how price affects consumers' food and drink behavior. The recent supply shocks caused by the pandemic and the ongoing war in Ukraine, which have led to rising prices of energy and transport costs, have contributed to the rising food prices. It is crucial for policymakers to have evidence on how rises in price of food and drink change consumers' consumption, as food inflation can have detrimental effects for the health and well-being particularly for low- and middle-income households. In addition, we looked into how increases in price might affect consumers' nutritional intake. Sharp price increases might lead consumers to opt for cheaper and unhealthier products, leading to a variety of diet-related illnesses in the long term. As expected, we find that demand decreases in response of price increases for most food and drink groups. However, how much demand is affected varies from product to product. Particularly, we find in the case of alcohol, the sensitiveness is very high, meaning an increase in the price of alcohol leads to a significant decrease in its consumption. And when income increases, the demand for alcohol also increases more than proportionally. We found that the demand elasticities were very stable in the pre-pandemic period, but recent supply chain shocks have led to unpredictable changes in consumer behavior and it is unclear whether we will regain the pre-pandemic stability. Our study considers hypothetical taxes on a range of food and drink groups that have a high sugar, salt, or saturated fat content. The impact of a tax will depend crucially on how consumers substitute between products of different nutrients composition. We find that taxing a specific product we only have beneficial effects on nutrition choice if customers change their consumption habits towards healthier products. For example, we find that taxing frozen confectionery products, such as ice cream and frozen desserts, has the biggest impact on reducing sugar intake, but doesn't significantly decrease fat and salt consumption. On the other hand, Takes in tack home confectionery products such as chocolate bars, chewing guns, and sweets might have undesired effects, as it might increase overall sugar intake. This is because consumers replace these for other more sugar dense products like sponge puddings, syrups, and treacle. Taxing chill convenience products such as ready meals and pizzas results in a significant decrease of the so called bad nutrients such as sugar, salt, and saturated fat. When considering all our hypothetical taxes and the policy concern and overall nutritional consumption, we find that a tax on chill convenience products could be an efficient way to decrease the overall intake of sugar, salt, and saturated fat. This study presents new evidence offering policymakers guidance on how taxes can be used to reduce consumption of unhealthy food and drinks, including consumption of alcohol as well as that of products high in sugar, salt and fat.